Could you please stand? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, uh, this morning we gather together in the church to celebrate the funeral mass of Mila Aquino. We believe in the resurrection. We believe in the eternal life. So we pray and ask the Lord to grant our sister Mila the eternal life, the eternal hope in heaven. So let's now acknowledge our sinfulness as we begin our celebration. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have created this peace in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I felt to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the blessed Mary and Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to our Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. O oh God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Most holy grant that through this mystery, your servant Mila, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and then with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Now please be seated and we listen to the first reading. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster. And they're going from us to their destruction, but they are at peace. For though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them. Unlike a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over people, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones, and he watches over his elect. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, our citizenship is in heaven, and it is from there that we are expecting a savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will transform the body of our humiliation that it may be conformed to the body of his glory by the power that also enables him to make all things subject to himself. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, a disciple came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemaker, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you, and utter on guise of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise now please be seated. So my dear brothers and sisters, uh, now first of all, in the name of St. Bernadette Parish and also St. Bernadette School, I would like to send my condolences to Mila's family, to Jonathan, her husband, to Nathan, their son, and also to brothers, sisters, relatives, and friends, and also special condolences to Mila's mother, Elena, who is still in Philippines. So we gather this morning to celebrate the funeral mass of Mila Aquino. You know, who died about 10 days ago at the age of 50 more, very young age. Well, in the first reading from the Book of Wisdom, it states, the writer's person, man or woman, even though he or she dies at early age, young age, will be in the hands of God. So, Mila's death, what a great loss uh, to all of us who knew her, of course, to the family, especially to Jonathan, who met her for 10 years, 
and to Nathan, you know, uh, the great one in St. Bernadette's school. It is a shock, a loss for those who love Mila. So all of us, as we are here, we miss her deeply. Celebrate may seem an inappropriate word for such occasion as death. But remember, when, when, whenever we come together as Christians, as believers, in joy or in sorrow, we celebrate. We celebrate not death, but the eternal life, the light in heaven. And that's what we believe. Our homeland, as the second reading tells us, is heaven. It's our eternal home. And how do we know it? Jesus Christ, the one who shows us. And he died. You know, this week is Holy Week. We remember the death of Jesus. But also, we celebrate his resurrection. The Easter candle, the symbol of Jesus' resurrection. And that is why we are here to celebrate the life of Mila. We celebrate in hope, in faith. Jesus Christ rose from death and promised that those who believe in him will live beyond death. So Jesus Christ declared that he in his own person is a victory over death. He's the resurrection, the eternal life. Death brings us a lot of things into perspective. You know, at the end, what matters is happiness of life. This life on earth and the life to come. For followers of Christ, what brings the real blessing of life is found in the Beatitude, the gospel we have heard today. In it, Jesus gives us a list of quality which help us to attain the eternal life. As he says, bless a poor spirit, there is a kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. I know that maybe Mila is one people to talk a lot about her. But as we remember, we can see some of these beatitudes which were exemplified in her life. Now first, Mila, as we know, was a very strong believer in the Catholic faith, very devout. She believed, she had faith, the faith that she received at baptism and strengthened by the other sacraments, especially by the Holy Eucharist. We know, you know, who, who come to church here on Sunday at 8.30, you may know Jonathan, Mila, and Nathan, who, are, who were in the church. They sit over there, the first pews. Yeah, Nathan, you were there. Every Sunday, and they were very faithful. And I knew that Mirla and Jordan received the sacrament seriously. They went to confession every month. So they loved Jesus. They believed in him. They trust in God's love and mercy, in God's forgiveness. And that is why Jesus said, bless the poor in the spirit, there is a kingdom of heaven. So we, we hope and we pray that as she trusts in God, 
she will inherit the kingdom of heaven. Mila believes in God. She has a strong faith, as I said, but she also lives her faith and she shares her faith with others. If you came to the prayer last night, you can see people talk about her, about her involvement in different activities in the church. She was the extraordinary Eucharist minister in Our Lady of Good Council for many years. She was a member of the Couple for Christ, the Handmaid of the Lord. And she was her job, she, I mean her career, she was a dentist, a professional dentist. As a dentist, she, she took care of the patients with compassion, with care, with love. And that is what we hear in the Beatitude. Blessed are the merciful, because the kingdom of God is there. And also Beatitude to tell us about, uh, blessed are the meek, uh, blessed are the, the pure in heart. Mir Mirla was very gentle. I can say a gentle woman, a quiet woman, but she was so generous, uh, generous with people. And as Jesus said, uh, blessed are the pure in heart, and the gentle, they will inherit the earth. They will inherit the eternal life. And finally, you know, that Mirla had cancer, the breast cancer, and she died of cancer. And I believe for the last months, she suffered a lot. I remember when I went to see her in the hospital, the, just the day before she died, to give her the sacrament anointing. She was conscious, and she, I can see her face, she was so happy to receive the sacrament. And I believe she knew that that time would come, because she always had faith and trust in, in God, in Jesus Christ. So blessed are the merciful, blessed are the pure in heart, blessed are the, the meek, they will inherit the kingdom of God in heaven. So my brothers and sisters, here are some of the qualities of mere life. And as I said, she lived uh, the beatitude of God seriously. And I believe uh, that is make her a true disciple of Jesus Christ. And these qualities that she had uh, were the mark of a true disciple of Christ. Uh, they make her rich in the sight of God. And they are also the key to another world, the kingdom of God. A person who lives in the spirit of the Beatitude is already living in the kingdom of heaven. And as the Gospel says, Therefore rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. So with such confidence in Jesus' promise, we pray and we hope that our sister Mila is now joining the multitude of people, blesses heaven. So may Mila rest in peace. And now please stand for the intercession. I'd like to invite the one who will do the uh, intercession, please come.
Jesus, Son of God, and the part of our own creation, is promised that one day we shall truly be like him, with all hope founded on that promise. We offer to God our prayers. That the firm hope of the resurrection fill the heart of every member of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all people who mourn find consolation and peace in God through those around them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That me, Aquino, and all who died today enjoy the vision of God with those in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all family members and friends of Mila Aquino experience the strength of our faith in the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are gathered here today to remember our brother Mila Aquino support one another in prayer and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, in our grief, we call upon your mercy. Open your ears to our prayers, and one day unite us with Mila, who we firmly trust already enjoys eternal life in your kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now please be seated. Now please stand. Pray, brother and sister, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, your servant Mila, for whom we offer you the sacrifice of praise, humbly and fitting, that reconcile with you through these devoted offices. She may be made to rise again to life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The, the Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true your righteous, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection at dawn, that those saddened by the certainty of dying may be consoled by the promise 
of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful law, life will change is not ended. And when this early dwelling turn to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with ancient angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with thou end, we agree. Kneel down, or be, please be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a path upon holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a new fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion. He took the bread and gave me thanks broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat up, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of him. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial feast, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember your servant, Mila Aquino, whom you have called today from this world to yourself, grant us, she who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your feet. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cooperative to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. Now 
of his friend, are the Savior commanded for by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but into the evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Praise to the great peace and now days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be on way free from sin and set from on in rest, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. Amen. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. You may be seated. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to share the end of my life, but only say a word, and my soul shall be. Yeah. 
Now be stand. Let us pray. Lord God, whose son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, merciful friend that strengthened by it, our sister Mila, may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of Sister Mila. May our farewell express our affection for her, may it ease our sadness, and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again with the love of Christ, with corn to all things, destroy even death itself. What holy water to remind you of me, love, baptism in Christ. As a self respect for our sister Mila, we let this incense rise to God who has called her to share his glory. Into your hand, Father of mercy, we commend our sister Mila in the sure certain hope that together with all who share, we have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessing which you bestow upon Mila in this life, the aside to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Most of all, Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant, and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurance of faith until we are meeting Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. And my brother and sister, may every mark of affection and every church of friendship that you give to others be a sign of God's peace for you. And now in peace, let us take our sister Mila to her place of rest.